before we get on with the rest of the video, I wanted to introduce you guys to this new device I've been using called the Kenzie IPL handset. It has been a lifesaver before going on vacation for me. I'm really into hair removal because it's been a problem for me whenever I'm in swimsuits or whenever I go somewhere tropical. This device has been featured in Vogue, Marie Claire, Cosmopolitan, and girls love it because of the fact that other girls have used it and there are honest reviews on the site. This is an IPL device, which means intense pulsed light. Basically, it is a non-radiating treatment. It converts light energy to heat so that you can use heat to laser off the hair on your body. This is my second month using it and I never have any problems with the battery or just the process of using it in general. It's so easy. I wanted to show you guys my results with the Kenzie device. So this is what my arm hair looks like. I used to get bullied for having hairy arms, so I see huge results. And I used to shave them, but now I use this device and I can really notice a difference. Here is my other arm for reference. But this is so much thinner than what I had and it grows back so slowly. So thank you, Kenzie. It's convenient and safe, also painless. And I'm gonna show you how to use it right now. Basically there is a power button on the back and you can click it to different degrees depending on the level of strength that you can handle. It's an IPL handset. So instead of going to do laser, you can do it at home. I want the maximum strength and it doesn't even hurt. This device has different wavelengths so it can help with skin rejuvenation, reduce acne, hair removal, and even aging spots. I have been noticing results because this is currently my second month using it. I've noticed that my hair goes back a lot finer, a lot slower, and you can see results as fast as two to three weeks, and you can see full results in as little as 12. This device is really worth it because of the fact that each session, whenever you go to get laser in person and with tip, it costs about like $150 for just two sessions, and you need to do at least six. Take this from somebody who's done it in all areas of her body. But for this, it's been really helpful for pre-vacation, like touch up so that the hair goes back a lot finer. If you pause and hold on this button for five seconds, it's called a glide mode. So it basically can laser off the parts of your body so it's really even and less patchy, but it's super easy. Honestly, it's kind of like therapeutic. But you guys should definitely try it out. It's so easy to use. It's a safe, cost-effective treatment. And they have a 12-month warranty with a 90-day money-back guarantee. Every other kind of hair removal appointment is just so expensive. Like hair waxing is messy and it leaves burns. Shaving leaves ingrowns. And when you do it at the salon, it just like doesn't feel as comfortable versus when you're doing it in your own home. All you have to do is plug it into your outlet. And there's a literal 9-foot cord. So you can do it in any part of your room or space. If you use my code ESA20, or go to the site kenzzi.com, kenzie.com. You can use my code or the link in my bio to get your own device and get 20% off. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you guys in Hawaii with a clean body. <laughs>favorite yoga spots are you ready to work out today is a wellness journey the nice thing is that the sun doesn't really set as early it sets at like 8 30 yeah we have five more minutes until class starts but this class is 75 minutes oh wait did you bring a yoga mat i thought they just gave them to you no i think you have to rent them why do yoga to? spots like make you bring them why is it included in the fee I'm running all my errands because I literally leave tomorrow. I don't even know if Chris and Lucas packed yet. Ugh, I feel like I need to prepare them. Boys really do nothing to prepare for vacation while girls are like scrambling. I just got my nails True. done. I went to the salon and I basically got to customize these designs myself. Like I showed her pictures, kind of like collabed five different photos together. Some of them are too much for me. So I did like a simple chrome and I did this bow. I did this shell. This I think this finger is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a holographic chrome and there's pearls on it. We have to go to our class now, I fear. Boy, Mangar.
class. It's done. Yoga ohms. If you guys need a yoga studio, Yoga Flow is good because they make it very spiritual. They tie yoga in with meditation. I think yoga, when it's gentrified, is not as fun. Oi! Bro. I'm literally showing what I'm Hi. packing. <laughs> Packing these courageous shorts. Dude, I haven't slept. I don't know how to style it. I'm feeling goofy. I'm in a silly mood. I thrifted these. I got these Adidas shorts hey, to wear. Sir, with why are you leaving? I also, this is what happens when I do a try on at home. Got this off Depop. It's like a vintage crochet. I got this actually last October. This is before the little florals came in trend, so it was ahead of the time. And it's like one of one because it's from Depop from a London seller. So it's like knitted and absolutely Gorgiana. And then I just have this little like hot pink skirt from Emily Watson. She's like this Australian designer. Here, it's like a low rise view waist asymmetrical skirt. And <laughs> And I also have <laughs> these hair clips that I'm wearing to match my nails that I did. Bro, are you serious right now? <laughs> hey guys, this is my dog. Oh. Lopez. The reason why I'm not trying these things on right now is because you're gonna have to see them when I'm in Hawaii with a tan. There's a vision for everything that I'm packing, everything I'm wearing. This is just like an easy throw on dress though from Frankie's. And Love Shack sent over this pretty velvet skirt, maxi skirt from Love Shack. And also this dress it's from Reformation. And it's crochet with flaw. We're going for knitted moments. This is a really beautiful dress from Heavy Manners. And she designs these all herself. It's like a low back, see-through, long sleeve dress. It's stunning. Excited for you guys to see. Let's pack it in my suitcase now. <laughs> From La Femme. Okay, it's because he wears the red one all the time, so I reached out to get him the black one. Shout out La Femme. They're based in Amsterdam. This is my tank top from Uniqlo. Basically, I pick these things and I, I always just... get them oversized because my brother and I are like the same size pants, unfortunate for me. And I like them oversized because I think streetwear looks better when it's baggy. It looks nice. Should I wear this tonight? Do you have swim trunks? No. You don't have swim trunks? Yeah, do you have any? No. You only have the piranha ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull out the ones from 8th grade. So I just showered and changed. I'm about to go to the farmer's market with my dad. We're gonna make a yummy healthy lunch because I told him that we should just eat like protein and vegetables before my brothers and I go to Hawaii. Hawaii. Hula, hula, hula. I'm really excited. I just miss a lot of like fresh produce. It's my birthday. It was yesterday. <laughs> I didn't feel like it. This is what I'm wearing. I think I'm gonna bring this skirt, but I've had this skirt for about like three years now. I used to wear it when I worked at Brandy, like back when I was in college. And then this top is Reformation, but it's kind of cute for like a little grocery outing. And I'm gonna throw it in with like these ballerina flats, just so that it's more curated. I really like the way this top fits because it's longer. And so I'm wearing this low rise, even though it's meant to be high rise. This is my necklace. I'll just do a regular ice matcha. I'll try it. I haven't seen those prices in so long. Five dollars in New York? It's eight dollars for matcha now. It's crazy, especially if I give oat milk. What are you getting? Hello? Huh? I said, what are you getting? Oh, I'm just getting some greens. So some mint, maybe? We have been the home going in the yard. Romaine. Relief. Ooh, watermelon radishes. Oh, so cold. Welcome back to SF. You want green onion, too? We have green onion in the, in the yard, too. You're growing green onion? This should be pretty in the salad. So 
Look at those. Four dollars cheaper, but they're smaller, also sweeter. Pickling the carrots and daikon and radish. Watermelon radishes. Making a uh, Vietnamese uh, style noodle salad for Isabel's request. And then we have cucumber, tomato odds and ends. And then we have, we marinated some carne asada supposedly, but since there's no specific spice in there, so I'm gonna use it for Vietnamese process. In here is what they call the onion milk. So it's onion, garlic, and lime juice blended together. That's it. This is a carne asada chuck steak. That was done uh, yesterday. I'm just gonna add some fish sauce because there's no salt in it yet. And I will make it Vietnamese too. Very convenient. And I have some leftover, like Taiwanese style jiang you gao with some da suan, which is soy sauce thickened with cornstarch, some raw garlic, hoisin sauce, touch of sesame oil, some sugar. We eat this over uh, blanched vegetables, boiled pork. Uh, it's a condiment that goes over bean curd everywhere. And these are the mai bun. It is a very soft rice noodles. And you can tell that they made it pretty organically. It's all like natural, nothing uniform. White vinegar. So it's basically vinegar, sugar, fish sauce, garlic, chili. So we're just gonna heat this up. I'll throw some garlic into it now. Gatorade. And Isabel's gonna smell it. It smells like mm. these pickles, right? It smells the so good. The fish sauce, the sugar, the vinegar. The garlic is yummy. And the garlic. And you just go, voila. I don't want to put too much pickle in juice today. I don't want waste. All this will trap itself and it will become a liquidy thing in about 10 minutes on the bottom. And I also want my So pickling pickle. with steam is faster than pickling in the fridge? Absolutely. You speed up the fat process by 300 times. So now we have the pickling thing. We We're got done. the pickles done. Just making some garnishes in the, to eat together in the noodles, yeah? I peel them because the skin is not pretty anymore. So there's no competition here. It's just the name, English cucumber. What about Persian cucumbers? Persian cucumber does not have more flavor. It's small. Oh, I always buy Persian ones. They're all growing the enclosed room. So this will add a refreshing note to your noodle salad. I feel like that side was a little soft, so I want to get rid of all the soft spots. It's important to have a nice, sharper knife on tomatoes. All right, so just garnishes. So mint and basil for a Vietnamese taste and cilantro. I just pour it out, whatever I need. And they're always ready to go. Versus some sanding. Today I put some bologna in there too. Just have some fun. I can even have some fun when I'm cooking. Do something different. Kind of like a banh mi. Uh, Now we give it a simple toss. See all that liquid on the bottom that came out? And now you have a very ready bun mi pickling mix. Be sure to add some sugar. Why didn't you just reuse that one? That one's been tainted with vegetable gas. 
Some people might find it okay. Not me. No good. Not strong enough. Not tasty enough. It's very easy to make this. Mmm. Yeah, it smells very fresh with the lime. with the onion milk, touch of fish sauce. I like all that fat too, yeah? Yes. So I use the back of the pan and I go this way. These are roasted, salted. So I just get it there and then I press the handle. Right. Yes, authentic. I mean, authentic, but for my daughter, because I want it to be a little French. So we add a little bologna in there. And now, the vinaigrette. Yummy. Put some color on there. So the vinaigrette, I added some pickle veggie, obviously. It's very correct, but... What about like a fried candy egg? More like a crab cake would do justice. Or even some shrimp. Mm. Oh, it's good. Yummy. Hi. We're leaving in two hours. Two hours? No. <laughs> Five hours. Four hours. For the loud fog. Leave the airport at 5 a.m. Did you check on me? Now did you look for me? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm brushing my teeth. Go. I've been drinking more alcohol. Are you okay? Dude, you're gonna make me cry. Do I think we make the funniest content in the bathroom? <laughs> Baby, are you down, 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 down? What are we doing? Skincare. Are you ready? Whoa. We turn on the sink at the exact same second. Dude, why do I look fucking huge right now? Okay, so, come here. Go take a thumbnail with me. <laughs> I've been getting bigger. Hey, can you guys tell I've been working out? All about angles. I need to wash my face. Loops, eye masks. Is this racist? I mean... <laughs> you guys are gonna thank me for making you guys do this later. Wait, there's a plastic seal? Yes, that's probably why I wasn't sticking to your face, where, Jojo. Where? Oh, wait, actually, dude, your eye mask comes out of your eye. Me <laughs> <laughs> <I> too. <laughs> wait, what does that mean? This looks like salami. I can't even show you. I look like eye. a Pikachu. Because I'm trying to Pikachu. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> For the last few weeks, can you check on me? Uh. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> we don't need no other body. Are <laughs> 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 you feel on my body? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I have four eyes. This is really trippy. Isabel booked me a Hawaii trip for my birthday. She's a sweet sister. She's actually my younger sister. Everyone thinks she's my Gigi. Yeah. I know I look young, but like, it's because I do this every day. Good night, guys. See you in Hawaii. Oh, my mind. You guys are so pretty. <laughs> Good night, guys.